Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a green screen video by using iMovie on your iPad. Let's get started and select iMovie. And in iMovie, we'll select New and Movie. And the first thing we want to do here is choose a background for the green screen video. I want to choose a background that I'm going to appear in front of. So I'm going to use a photograph. And I have a photograph of Mount Rushmore down here that I'm going to select. And now choose Create Movie. Now I know that the video I recorded earlier in front of this very green screen is longer than the 6.6 .6 seconds that iMovie suggested we play this picture of Mount Rushmore for. So let's go ahead and tap on that and now we can extend the length of play. So we'll stretch it out a bit. And now before I add in the video of myself in front of the green screen, let's back this up so that the start line, start play line, is to the far left edge of the picture. Now we're going to go up to the media at the top, and if this media tab doesn't appear for you, it's simply because it was hidden. Just click on the plus icon, and you can open it back up. Now choose video, and I have a video I recorded earlier today in front of this green screen just using the camera on my iPad. And let's go ahead and now select that one. And you see, as soon as I tapped on it, this yellow highlighting appeared and a new menu appeared. Let's open that menu and choose green, blue screen. And you'll see it's now automatically cut away all the green screen and left me just in front of Mount Rushmore. Now when I hit the play button, we can see how it works. Well, hello class. Today we're going to go to Mount Rushmore. Check it out. So now I have myself in front of Mount Rushmore. It looks like I'm in front of Mount Rushmore. Now, if I want to fast forward this, we'll notice I added too much time to the Mount Rushmore display. So let's just highlight that and click and drag to match it up there at the end. Now, if I wanted to add in different backgrounds and use multiple backgrounds, I could certainly shrink this down even more and import another picture in its place. Likewise, if I wanted to make a longer green screen video with a series of clips, I would go and repeat that process to add in more clips. Now I'm happy with this video, so let's choose Done. And let's just rename the video by tapping on the My Movie 11 and call it something else. Maybe Mount Rushmore Intro. And I'm done with that. And now this is saved on my iPad where I can then use it wherever I want, including uploading it to YouTube, Vimeo, or any other place that I would typically share a video. So that's how you can create a simple green screen video by using iMovie on your iPad. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.